Alright, hey everyone, it's TVC Mario, and you're here for a very important video. In today's video, if you consider yourself to be a real born-again Christian, you know that the Lord has saved you through the power of the gospel, and you are currently following YouTubers like A Call for an Uprising, who consistently, every single day, spend all their time, effort, and energy to expose evil, and they think that's of God, it's time to wake up. Satan is using individuals like a call for an uprising and others who constantly keep your mind focused on evil to steal your focus. It is a spirit that wants you to focus on the things of this earth. This Bible says that we are to fix our eyes to the things above, not the things of earth. There is a place for exposing evil. I am a watchman and I expose evil, but that's not all I do. When all you do is expose evil, do you know what you're doing to God's people? You're taking their attention from the work that needs to be done, focusing on heaven, focusing on God's ministering to us personally in our hearts, and all you're doing, a call for an uprising and others, is going, devil, 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 hey guys, let me steal your attention, devil, devil, hey, look what the devil's doing in the schools, look what the devil's doing in the government, look what the devil's doing with the kids, look, look, devil, 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 and you are stealing God's people's attention from what matters most. That is not what a true Christian does. And I rebuke you and the spirit behind you that leads God's people astray into being wrongly focused on the things of this world and what Satan is doing to the point that they end up spiritually dead and weak and frustrated and angry. We are to focus on God, to worship him, to study his word, to draw near to him. These videos serve to do the opposite. They are sensational and they're hard for you not to click on. They steal your attention and it's devil, devil, glorify the devil all day long. And the Christian truther community here is growing spiritually weak because of it. Now, those of you may not know exactly what happened, but me and a call for an uprising had a falling out. And I should have known a long time ago because the Holy Spirit told me that this was coming. It resonated deep. Mario, this guy is full of anger. My spirit for this is what I believe, does not abide in him, and he's being used of Satan. I clearly see that here today. So, what I'm going to talk about is the fact that he's calling me a victim. He says I'm a victim. I'm going to show you that I actually am. There are cyber stalkers and insane people that have made over 300 videos on me, alluding to the fact that I'm a pedophile when I, when I mentor young boys in the Lord, taking pictures of my personal family members and posting them online when they have no right to do so, and it is illegal to do that and constantly slandering me. So I am a victim, and I'll show it to you in this video. I'm not sitting here crying as if this isn't a reality. I'm making this stuff up. I am being persecuted because I take a stand for righteousness and truth. And how dare you, a call for an uprising, go and side with those who do those type of things to me. And I'm going to show you, viewer, that this is really occurring. Another thing I'm going to show you here today is that he started this and he's too coward to actually tell you. Now, you ever been in a situation with someone where you know they're talking about you, you know, but they're not using your name and they're doing it in a subtle little way under their breath? That is what a call for an uprising did. In his Kesha video, he attacked me. Call for an uprising, I challenge you. Find three videos of other YouTubers who expose the MK Ultra and the music entertainment industry and say that we should pray for Kesha and Kanye. Guys, it was a subliminal attack on me, and he just didn't have the courage to name me. I'm not like that, a call for an uprising. I'll call you out, buddy. I'm not scared. And even if it loses people, I don't got to play these little games of manipulation that you do. So, brothers and sisters in the Lord, this is a strong rebuke coming. The Christian truther community is spiritually sick. It is the most disgraceful thing. I was the pioneer of this movement, by the way. Okay, when this thing kicked off, I was the one doing these videos a long time ago. You can go back and check out the exposés that so many people now today have, have copied. The, the term Christian Truther, Christian Truther Network, that was me, Jared, RSC, White Rabbit. You remember that way back? That was us. I am ashamed of this movement. I am ashamed of how unchristlike it has become. How its focus is constantly on the things of this earth and not bringing glory to the Father. It is done. You want to? You know what division is actually happening? The sheep and the goats are being separated in this movement. So the children of God and those who think they are but are not, and on the day of judgment shall stand there and God will tell them, I did not know you. Depart from me. Because you have no relationship with him. 
Now, do I know if a call for an uprising is saved? No, I, I, I don't know. That's between him and God. But I can tell you this. He is either A, not saved, or one of the most spiritually weak Christians I've ever seen in my life who doesn't produce spiritual fruit, who's being used of Satan to keep your mind on this world so that you're down, angry, and you never find the joy of the Lord, that Christ can never put Christ-like character inside of you, which is the entire aim of salvation. All right, so... Another thing too, ladies and gentlemen here, God is amazing. God always confirms things. And a friend of mine, without even knowing the situation, came to me to share this that I found in a book. And it says, there are occasions when uh, your exposing of evil or going after the devil is actually a digression from the higher purpose. It's falling away. And this is what he does, okay? Intercessors and warfare leaders take note. There is a demon whose purpose is to lure one's mind on the things of the devil. If we were to name this spirit, we would call it wrong focus. And that's what it is. Devil, devil. Hey, look, to every day, what, five, six times a week, you get a video from this guy. Hey, look what the devil's doing. Hey, look what the devil's doing. Hey, what about Jesus? What about God? What about what the Lord is doing in the hearts of his people? You are diverting them. If you are a Christian, you need to get off the internet and seek God. This is destroying you, a call for an uprising. And you are spiritually weak, leading people astray with this. You may be fighting this spirit if you are continually trying to find evil and evil spirits and people or the material world around you. Now notice it says continually trying. I will expose evil as commanded, but you're going to see if you're thinking Mario's a hypocrite, just stay tuned. I'm going to show you that this channel, yes, exposes evil. That's the point of it. But this is not all I do. I, in fact, have many other channels where I bring glory to God. Just last night on a You Now live stream, uh, the last three days we have bringing... 15 people through the power of the gospel to salvation. That is what it's about. So yes, you expose evil, but there must be a balance. Um, the ultimate goal of this demon is to produce a mental illness in the saints uh, who are uh, supposed to be moving in the power of Christ. Listen very carefully. We are not called to focus on the devil, except when that battle hinders our immediate transformation into Christ-likeness. Our calling is to focus on Jesus. The works of the devil, however, is to draw our eyes away from Jesus, just like he's doing through these channels. And uh, his first weapon always involves to lure you away, to turn. And the solution to that is to turn to Christ. And that's what I want to do. That's enough. Christian truthers out there. You're either A, not saved, or some of the most spiritually weak bunch of brothers and sisters I have ever seen. And what a disgrace you are now. I'm embarrassed to be called a Christian truther because what of this movement has become because of these type of influencers who are constantly devil, 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 devil. That is not of God. So now, let me go ahead and show you the other elements here. How I am not a victim. How he is playing the victim card. Oh, Mario attacked me. No, no, buddy. I just had the courage to call you out on your nonsense, your little subliminal attack on me. Oh, you think, buddy. Oh, Mario's just saying this because he thinks everything's about him. No, 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 dude. Three videos. Challenge, okay? Because apparently to you, there's tons of people saying this. And I know for a fact, dude, I'm the one saying this. And your little cheap shot in the video, I'm just going to come out and boldly call you out. Now I look like the one who attacked you. Nice little manipulative play there. And then uh, we're going to talk about how I am a victim of the psychopaths on the internet. And yes, I am righteously anger. We are standing up for truth. Follow me, brothers and sisters in the Lord. We are breaking free from this sick community that is spiritually hindering you. In Jesus' name. All right, so let's go ahead and get right into this. Now, here is a call for an Uprising's YouTube channel. And as you can see, it is consistently, on a daily basis, pointing you towards the devil and the devil's activities, keeping your mind focused on the things of this earth, while you should be preoccupied with what God is doing in your heart, with what God is doing. But no, here it is. Devil, 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 devil. Devil, 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 devil. Devil, devil, devil. Where is Jesus? Where is his testimony? Do any of you who are his subscribers even know his testimony? I don't. And I'm pretty sure 95% of you don't, at least. He has never shared it in a video that I've watched, and I've been watching him for a long time. Okay? So here you go. Devil, 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 devil. Devil, devil, devil. Are you focused on the devil? Because this guy is uploading seven videos a day to make sure you are. Now, 
Does the call for an uprising do this on purpose? I do not believe so. I think that he is spiritually deceived by the enemy. Either he's not faked and it's just easy for, or saved and it's easy for the enemy uh, to use him in this way, or he is saved and he is spiritually dead right now and needs to take time off exposing evil and get his eyes focused on heaven and what Jesus is doing. No wonder he's so angry. This stuff personally affects you, eh? If you will expose evil all the time, it's going to get to you. And you're going to get very angry and you're going to reach a breakdown. And devil, 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 devil. Devil, 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 devil. And I can already hear the people. But Mario, Mario, isn't that what you do with your YouTube channel that I'm listening to right now? This is not everything that I do. I am not simply one channel content creator. I am a content creator that created multi-channels to do all of my work on. So if you are just subscribed to this, you're only subscribed to about 20% of what I do on social media on different platforms. I realize that I should keep this channel serving the purpose that it does as a watchman. There is a benefit to these videos. Every once in a while, maybe a couple times a week, you should watch and get up to date with what's going on in the world, what certain things can do to affect your kids, etc. But this is not the predominant uh, occupation of a Christian's mind. It's constantly Satan. On my social media pages, my Facebook page, and many others, I am preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. I am building people up in the faith. If you join me, please come to you now. This is a new uh, platform that I'm going to be using. We literally hang out, worship God together. We praise God. I take biblical questions, and we pray together. We are a body on this platform. Okay, so no, I don't just expose evil. It's only a minor part of what I do. Here is my other YouTube channel, uh, TVC Faith Family, where I upload, live stream these broadcasts and also share with you some pastor's messages. Here is a health channel where I focus on trying to get you healthier by the Lord. Here is my Instagram where I share uplifting things with you by the uh, from the Bible. Here is a Bible study channel that I created. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, God. God, Jesus, God, Holy Spirit, God. Let's get some more. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Are you starting to discern the difference here, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters? Okay, so that's clearly, okay, he doesn't know it, but he's being used of Satan to keep your mind on the things of this earth. So brothers and sisters, smarten up, wake up, realize that there is a division happening. It's between real Christians and the fakes. Okay, the fakes, and unfortunately, we Christians will go with the fakes. And watch this, most people will follow a call for an uprising because the Bible states that many are on the path to destruction, and the path that leads to life, there are few that find it. And it is sad for me to say, but there are many in this Christian truth or community that on the day of judgment shall stand before the Almighty, and he shall look upon thee and say, go and get out and go into the lake of fire, because I never knew you. And my heart is that this wouldn't happen. So seek God while you have the chance. Now, let me prove to you that he attacked me. Here you're going to hear a call for an uprising doing his subliminal cowardly attack on me. Let's hear this. What a demon this Kesha is. What a demon, right? Yeah, let, let's, let's be hateful. Let's constantly focus on the devil and be hateful because that's what the world needs to see Christians behaving like. They need to see us no better than any lost person. That's what it's all about, right? A call for an uprising? Now, I've seen over the last year or so, many people have done videos praying for Kesha. Oh. Many people have done videos saying, pray for Kesha. Do you know who has only done videos on that? Me. A call for an uprising. I challenge you in a response to this video to provide three other popular video content creators that have even stated that other than myself. I am the one influencing this mindset of loving our enemies because that is biblical and you couldn't handle it. So you had to respond to me when I called you out because you get all hurt and angry and frustrated. But this is an attack on me, guys. You ever have this situation where someone's too much of a coward to call you out? So they do it under their breath like this and do it in a very manipulative under basically a low blow type of way. Oh, Kesha's trying to break free. From her MK Ultra mind control pro. Who says that, Call? I do, and you know it. And you know when you were saying this, you were taking an attack on me. Now you're deceiving your listeners to, oh, oh, I'm a victim here. Mario came out and attacked me. I didn't do anything. Yeah, you subliminally attacked me right here. Programming. No, she's not. No, she's not. She's a demon. Oh, man, this guy's a fraud. And then he goes on and says that, oh, Mario plays the victim card. Buddy, are you kidding me? Have you guys seen this psychopath, Cole Casper, creating 485? And look at this, it's your videos in his in his playlist now, buddy. You're siding with those who are persecuting me. 
For those of you who don't know, this person has made two, 400 plus videos of me. Here's my, my, my family in here. Here he is alluding to the fact that when I mentor kids, I'm a pedophile. This is criminal. This is slander. I can take him to court and charge him for this. This is illegal activity. And, oh, and then you want to say that I'm crying because I'm not, I'm making this stuff up. Right. So there you have it, everyone. I am sick and tired of this. It's over. This guy is exposed fully. You repent a call for an uprising and you come to God. I'm on you. That's it. And all you Christians want to say that this is division. Yes, the Lord is creating division in this community. It is time to focus on the Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters in the Lord who are truly saved, follow me here. We are leaving this sick community that will not help you grow in the Lord. Come to you now. It's in the description section. Go ahead. I'm going to be streaming all day. We're going to be reading the Bible. We're going to be praising God and doing what we need to do to allow Christ-likeness to be formed in our hearts. And do not be deceived because I was righteously angry in this video. I have all the right to be. Thanks for taking the time. This is TVC saying God bless each and every one of you. As always, remember, be vigilant and fear no evil.